All right, guys. Um, this is something that uh, interests me a little bit. I'm a little bit curious. Apparently, Keffels sat down and had an interview with Christian. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen in this conversation. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. As usual, link in the description of the video for those watching the video. But let's watch this. The Chris Chan interview. Okay. If they were to write a book about the history of the internet, Christine Weston Chandler better... Why is this, why is this so as slow? Is it my computer or their editing? ...online under the name Chris Chan would probably have several chapters dedicated to them. Known as the Maybe. most documented person online, there's no... Is it me? What the fuck is... Why, sorry. Why is this so... Why is this so weird? of information about her. What is this? Chris Chan, a comprehensive history, is now at part 82, extensively documenting her entire life. I think I got to like 71 and then I gave up. The reasons for this obsession with Christine are far too complex for me to address here. It's not that complex. Not really. Listen, here's the reality, okay? Um, I don't... Chris Chan is far from <laughs> a very good person. But there's somebody who grew up with... Struggled uh, with their autism. Had older parents, which can be make it very difficult to uh, get the attention that you need. And they were bullied a lot growing up. And uh, then there was an entire community of people that centralized around bullying them further. Uh, and bullying them into doing bad things <clears throat> and completely warping their life in a very negative way, which I think was a significant contributing factor to what they did, to the horrific thing that they did to their mother. Doesn't mean that they shouldn't be punished, but, you know, I think it's a kind of a testament to, like, we should probably stop the massive lol cow troll infrastructure. So, probably not the best thing in the entire world there. But let's just say that she is not known primarily for positive reasons. People are in fact so obsessed with her that before I could even upload this video, I was oh, given my man. own entry on the Sonichu wiki, Whoa. which I have printed off and hung on my wall to show off like a trophy. That's if you want to know more about weird. Christine and the controversy surrounding her, just watch the 80 part documentary by Suck. <laughs> I, I mean, listen, Gino Samuel's documentary is well done. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't morally assert that Christine's like a horrible person. It just kind of tells you the information as it goes. Uh, so I think it's pretty solid to be honest with you. I would recommend a two part podcast series done by behind the bastards entitled a terrible story about the internet. On August 2nd, 2021, Christine was released from central Virginia regional jail after charges were pressed against her for raping her mother. The okay. charges were dropped on March 27th, 2023. And Christine has remained. I wonder why. Was it because they didn't have any evidence that it happened or did it even actually happen? I think it did, right? They were like, it was so weird. They were talking to Isabella Janky and she's like, oh, I think your mom likes blah, blah, blah. Bro, just truly sadistic stuff, man. This whole entire situation is so uncomfortable. I, I think that Christine needs to be taken off the streets. They're like a danger to themselves and other people at this point. Taken off the streets, put into like some kind of a higher support facility and just kind of, <laughs> just kind of be done with it, you know? Uh, it's terrible stuff. And relatively low profile since. During her time in jail, a campaign I organized to get Clapler to drop the website Kiwi Farms as a customer succeeded, and this caught the attention of Christine, who was aware that many years ago, Kiwi Farms would go by another name, the Quickie Forums. A few Whoa, months ago, Christine reached out to Lord. me asking to come onto my channel and have a conversation with me. Okay. I do not believe Christine is a completely innocent victim. Nor okay. do I believe she is an entirely evil and reprehensible person. Sure, I agree. She has done terrible <clears throat> things I agree. and has had terrible things done to her. Sure. My interest. It's possible that some of the terrible things that they did were a result of the terrible things that, they, that happened to her. I think that she's hit the point of no return, but it's something that we can almost like look at and study to go, well, we probably shouldn't do this to another person on the internet because it probably is just going to create a pipeline of constant abuse. You know, when you have somebody who's had no real genuine relationships with anybody, because every single time that there is a relationship, it's just somebody dressed, trying to dress as a pickle and fuck with them. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm laughing. Um, it's going to warp their brain and make them think that they can't trust anybody else. It's like a horrible thing. It's, uh, it's a terrible scenario. Interest in this conversation came from a place of wanting to understand her. Do you believe Christian didn't do it? She denied everything in her first. I don't know, dude. I, I feel like I it's been a while since I looked at it, but I'm pretty sure she was bragging about it to somebody, to that Isabella person. As is that Isabella person was like, 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 oh, that's good, like, oh, like affirming it. Um, I, I don't know. I think that I, you know, what do I, what does matter what I think? I think that they did it. I think it's terrible. I think that they are danger to people around them. 
You know, I feel like they need to be, like I said, I think that they need to be put in like a, a higher support facility and not really have access to the internet. Um, I'm, I don't think that that's what's happening. So, And not mock or belittle her, as that is already overabundant on this platform. Yeah. The following video is the conversation that took place. Wow. So I know when I put this interview up, wow. like a lot of the people who are going to watch this already know. Who Imagine they started dating. Be interesting. Who you are. But yeah. I guess what I wanted to ask, like starting this off, is I feel like everybody's gonna know who they are in your audience. No, they're 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 bigger than you. No, they're more popular. Mm -hmm. For the people who aren't familiar with who you are, how would you describe yourself? Well, my full name, uh, which I'm looking to legally update soon enough, is uh, I am Mrs. Jesus Christine Weston Chandler Sanchu Prime, and I end up okay. I think they've truly lost it. This is the worst. I think this is the most deteriorated their mental state's ever been. Prime of all my self counterparts throughout the multiverse. But essentially who and what I am, I am actually the one avatar of all existence. My mom Bro, I feel like at this point, even talking to Christine is like almost, <laughs> is just like inappropriate. What the fuck? Also, and I'm also the artist and creator and uh, chronicler of the Sanchi and Rose Shoe species, especially in particular that of the specials, which are the ones that have more abilities in them as opposed to the regulars, because the Sanchis and Roshus, they are species of Pokemon, electric hedgehogs, along with their evolved form Metonics and Proses and their pre-evolved form Sonics and Rosies, the baby Pokemon, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so I've, done, I've written and drawn multiple books, and I'm looking to get back into that much more. I'm going to be expanding my collab a bit. Uh, Bro, this is unhinged. I don't know. This is unironically one of the most, like, almost, <laughs> like concerning things i've ever seen on youtube there's just the full confidence of saying all this everything that's being said but who am i maybe it's all true who the fuck who hey who am i i believe in a god that watches me jack off so fuck you know just essentially give my posse to at least that's what i like to think when i'm alone <laughs> get her in a way with the help of my friend who's helping me out here which uh i'm right in the place i'm in right now putting that out there in case anybody asking, because I know I'm breaking the fourth wall. You're asking. You're asking. What oh, you weens out there. You don't know better. Oh, weens a low effort troll. I know that much. I know that much. I had a plumber come over today. And, uh, you know, he had to help me out with something, which was good. Like, he fixed it. You know, my, my, my water was leaking too much. And he asked me what I did for work. And I, I was like, oh, I do computer stuff. I work from home. That's pretty much all I got into because I didn't want to explain to him that I that this is what I talk about. What do you do for? Oh, you know, I just talk about. I just rot. I just brain rot. What do you do for work? I my IQ. I, what do you do for work? Oh, I lower my IQ every day. Oh, I just get dumber. <laughs> I just get fucking dumber. Actual necessary information is replaced with things like the term ween, which is what is that? Oh, a low effort troll. Oh, wow. What's your wife's birthday? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kidding. It's the it's January 2nd. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It must have been a long journey for you. Oh, epically. <laughs> oh, now that's people have pretty been cool. fascinated with you for more than Epic. two decades. Like, I've heard people call you the most documented person in history. Sure. There have been. Uh, excuse me. Her story? Uh, get it right, girl. Content creators who have made entire careers <sighs> just out of talking about True you. That. And I guess I just wanted to ask, what does it feel like to be the... Which I think is generally, like, not exactly the most healthy thing in the entire world, you know? But, I, again, I think Geno Samuels does it in, like, a good way. Closest equipped... Because I think it's more of an observation, not like this... Um, I don't like the channels that will, um, like, virtue bully people. Like, they think that they what they're doing... Like, they've... What they're doing is actually dangerous and causing more harm to other people. Not even the person that they're, they're bullying. Um... just to make content you know and just exacerbating like the issues going on but i think genos is decent you know i don't think it i don't think it does anything like that <clears throat> it doesn't make an uninformed <laughs> uh <laughs> assertion about uh mental health you know of a real world truman show <laughs> true that oh that's actually a decent comparison but yeah uh it has it have, have you even seen the truman show christine it has its blessings and then it also has its drawbacks Okay. I mean, shoot, I want to respond to somebody on Twitter, especially on something I feel very passionate about, 
And then it's like, you know, I'll put it's like, you know, I'll make a comment on tw- on like Twitter like I did recently. Okay. And then the and then the I, my, that's your problem is using Twitter. Then the weeds, the toxic ones, those darkest sinners among the minority. Literally than one percent of the whole worldwide population, that level irritates. That's a lot. If one percent of the entire population is bullying you, that's fucking insane. I don't think it's true. Was that 70 million people? Am I doing my math right? But anyway, so just they get on me like that. And they badgered the person that originally. What about channels like Dark Side Phil? I don't really. I mean, this listen, I don't really care about Dark Side Phil. You know, I think that there's a difference between like um, like low cows with support, like higher support needed intellectual developmental disabilities are different from people like Dark Side Phil. Like, I don't necessarily care about Dark Side Phil or Boogie or Wings or any of those people or Neon or Hassan. He's a low cow now. So there you go. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, I have a more, I have more empathy for people in the IDD community that struggle with their uh, disability to a greater degree. So they posted that tweet. And then that person that posted the tweet that I commented on just blocks me when that's not the answer. Cause they're still going to attack them regardless. So the thing to do is just obviously just identify those that made those comments. Just talking about me building on to the drama of it all, as opposed to just answering the question of which the individual was talking about and just blocking them who made the comments. Okay. But anyway, shoot. It, it's surreal mess. How the fuck do you even respond to that? So on the one hand, it's just get away to get ahead, get away. Clear my That's how I'm a terrorist on stream. What? I had meditate, reconnect, and just move forward. How do you oh. move forward from here? Uh, usually I just, just once one foot in front of the other, you know? <sighs> Take a couple steps. I try to clear my head as best I can. I don't always have the ability to do that, but when I take my deep breath and get into my meditative mindset, <laughs> and it's obvious I connect with everything. I know. <laughs> But it allows me to get myself grounded, and then I just feel better. Wow. Still yeah. have the problem mastering it, though. I mean, just, you know, between my, bo- between my body and brain here, just uh, having difficulty mastering my powers and abilities and getting a better understanding of it all. Okay. Yeah. At least I've been there. I've been there. Making good progress along the way. My wife, when she's trying to get better at baking. I guess that's, it's a skill. It takes a long time. I know I still struggle with that. Oh, what is that noise? Yeah, certainly David, me, even in my past lives and iterations of myself. <laughs> so. What is happening here? Who edited this? One thing I did want to ask was. One thing I wanted to ask was, how did. Okay, never mind. I'm not even gonna well, joke. I was preparing for this interview. I was like mm-hmm. pouring over so much of what people have written about you, all of the hit. Christery, they called it. They created an entire new term just to talk about your own personal history. But the thing that's always missing and why I thought it would be really fascinating to talk to you is how you feel about it, your own opinions on these things. How would you summarize the last two decades of your life since- Isn't that, didn't you just ask this question? Since you got the attention of the internet. <laughs> Massive crazy. Uh, Christine, what's your, what's your, what do you think about Rick and Morty? Rick and Morty? Rick and Morty? Rick? Rick? What do you think about that? Roller coaster. Just, I mean, as I am and as I was in my past life and everything, just, I would have, I would have tracked all this rather or not we had the internet, but just, I have my missed feelings about it. I mean, uh, just, I can I have, felt angry and upset with the, a lot of the downsides and those that tried to, like, they bullied me, they picked on me, they blacked me out to see me, and then obviously just dragged my name, my good name, to the worst of mud, muck, and bodily fluids, and just their whole uh, twist. Yeah, I remember when that person made the, like, Christine shove a, the medallion up their butt to get their PlayStation account back, which I think is just, like, fucked up, you know? Singing around and just making me a whole bad individual, which, of course, I'm not. I'm very kind. I have empathy and compassion. Wow. And in my works, I've managed to try to convey that. But obviously, it's not perfect because of the influences from these individuals that just affects not only me, but just our entire universe and timeline in general. And then it's just, just so yeah, just, it, it just enough is enough. Sometimes I just feel that I tolerate as much as I can and of course I keep an optimistic output and faith 
and the kindness and okay. good and love of everyone in general, including yourself. I think like every person, even when they're an empathetic person, we all. How'd you, why'd you just get so low? What the fuck? I'll make mistakes. And I guess Almost everybody has, everybody has back. those days. Do you have any? Did Keffels just get like instantly weirdly lower for anybody else? Or was it, it was just me? Any regrets? <sighs> Hmm. Yeah, I think I regret that thing with my mom. Uh, That's what you should say. Well, the, I'd say among, I'd say just essentially let, my, let myself fall for the theoretical etzes, as I call them, and uh, let them do me over like they did. And I'm just going to name drop this one. Joel I, I did not. Who? What? <laughs> the Blue Spike. That held my PlayStation Network account. Oh yeah, that person was a real piece of work. Yeah. Well, and see, and saw the loss of Sanchi Medallion number two, number threes, staying longest, testing the time. But that's just a whole thing I'm not gonna go into right now because I think this expression just says enough. Did she consider that person her ex? Did I hear that right? And saw the loss like Joel like they did. As I call them, essentially let my let myself fall for the theoretical exes, as I call them. Oh, theoretical and, exes. Uh, let them okay. Do me over like they did. And I gotcha. Understandable. It's a comedy show. What's happening? Yeah. Uh, but aside from that, I I do appreciate that. Like you know, they had to help shape and develop me mentally and emotionally, so I can have that damage within me to be stronger and more. Ready for it in the longer run? Of course, of course. As they say, God gives their toughest warriors <clears throat> the hardest battles. So I can actually finally do something about it within like present tense in the recent years, especially after I managed to clear my mind over the past couple of years. So every blessing counts. And then I do observe just the not so good things, which some of them can be considered blessings in disguise when you think about it. Absolutely. I... I guess it's just I guess. there's been so many controversies. At least now you know what it feels like to have a medallion in your ass, you know? Because you know what? I've exp I've been I've been doing a little more experimenting as I've been getting older with my wife. <laughs> Certainly not a medallion. I don't think I could handle that, but I've been involved with over the years. And you wanna whisper oh, yeah. anymore? If you could go back and redo any of them, is there something that you would do differently? Uh, any of them. Alright, so redo do differently. Well, I guess if there's anything I would do differently, it's just uh, try not to react so harshly. Just after I found out found the Encyclopedia Dramatic page about me back in late 2007, I believe it was, and uh, then finding the the graphic fan art of Rosie Rose Chew, okay, uh, just being drawn with a, I mean, she, I mean, yeah. Originally, just like you know, I thought. I mean, she was. She did end up becoming all female, but she, it turns out uh, she was a male Raichu before she became the very first Rose Chu. Of what all. the fuck are you talking about? Oh, it's just it's in general. Dude, imagine imagine like watching this. That's never not even knowing who Trish Chan was, and this is your introduction to them. What are you talking about? And then just obviously a physical transition from the chaos energy made her go from uh, being a male Raichu to being a full intersex Rose Chu to being a fully female Rose Chu. Which is why she did end up having the pointed tail, despite the fact that when I originally drew up drew the right shoe in book zero, what I wasn't totally fuck? aware of females' right shoes being different from the male's right shoes, just at the tail between a point to just a flat tip. It's interesting you bring that up. That actually leads me into Yeah, this is really interesting that you bring up the fucking right shoes tail tip. What? Why is that interesting? Good question, because I've seen this mm -hmm. um, criticism be made about you repeatedly at this point. Are you do you identify as transgender? There is a rumor that is... Yeah, I, I keep hearing people like, oh, they're not really trans. They just said they do it to get the ladies or something. ...going around where you apparently are not transgender and your entire transition is a ploy to prey on women. Oh, good grief. So false. I mean, I've been on the extra dial and the spiral not done it for years. I changed the mark of my driver's license from M to F. Yeah, I mean, I doubt that it's for that. I'm sure, listen, I'm sure that she has a weird relationship with her gender. I'll tell you that. But I doubt that the singular motivator is uh, girls. Although I wouldn't doubt it. Um, I think that she, like, I'm pretty sure she, like, hates men. Isn't that the, one of the whole things, you know? Uh, so maybe that's part of it. I have no idea. I grew up my hair for one thing. Me too. I think these would also make a statement as well. But 
Your sh- what is that? Your shirt? <laughs> what? My eyes are up here. <laughs> uh, but seriously, no. Okay. Authentic. I can't. I realize myself as I definitely more feminine than masculine. So I literally yep. came. Out I, f- I feel pretty feminine too. Had that as that for myself, and I realized I like it both ways. So I fully identify as a bisexual trans woman. Two of the stripes on the LGBTQIA flag colors. I assume wow. that's what the answer was because this seems like pretty cut and paste transphobia that you see yeah, everywhere. Uh, maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah, all the homophobia. I mean, I was. I was a- Christian said that a long time ago. I, I mean, listen, I wouldn't doubt that Christian said that. It doesn't necessarily mean that's like a hundred percent true. Um, you know, it could be a factor. I don't know. Maybe. I really don't know. Yeah, she, she really hates pickles. About that as well, and then just the when the trolls on the internet bullying me and threat and frustrating gay images on me. Like when I had the Wikipedia and the oh individuals gay behind images. that is put them on the sides, like you know these gay boy ads lead to like porn sites or whatever. Did you get psyoped? Yeah, just. Now, hey, that's a thing. So, hey, don't force sexuality on others. Just let them find it out for themselves in their own enlightenments and developments, okay. period. Well, okay. And just essentially, you find cringe in others. That's because that's you're, find, that's you're likely finding something encringing in yourself. Wow. But hey. Encringing. I love it. Regardless of your background, where you had uh, individuals that supported uh, who you were along the day, support others for who and what they were or not, just, hey, do not judge others for things that you are yourself. There were people who were telling me when this was announced that uh, talking to you and putting this on a public platform would be irresponsible, saying that you are so mentally unwell and... Yeah, I might agree with that at this point, kind of. You're neurologically, developmentally changed. Like, I think that they have the ability to have the conversation, but this was an insane start, uh, you know. ...that it would actually hurt you in order to talk to you. I don't think it's going to hurt Christine to talk to her... But this was certainly a, a bit of an unhinged experience. But I, I didn't go forward with any of those concerns because as someone who has been targeted by these hate sites and these stalking sites, I know one of the tactics that they often use is to try to alienate people from their victims. Oh, they groomed them. Mm. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Thank you. Insightful. <laughs> and it's just that is okay. nuts in general. Nuts and bolts. Me. Okay. For over half your life now, people online have attempted, many successfully, to manipulate you into doing things you otherwise wouldn't do. Okay. Even pretending to be your fans in some case, in order to convince you that those things were good. Uh, do you find it hard sure. to trust yeah. people now? And what impact has it had on your mental health? Hmm. I do not find it harder to trust others because... There's no way. I just don't believe that. <laughs> Sorry. Of course she finds it harder to trust people. There's no way. Every single time you do something, it turns out to be a troll. It just depends. On and you've you've shown that you've been more reluctant to talk to people because of it. Their intentions, which is deeply resonant. I watched seventy plus of the of the Christian documentary. I know stuff. Okay. From deepest within their energy and their souls, as it were. So it's just my innate sense. It's just like you know, if their intentions are gonna be like, uh, just like someone in the middle of the road that fears towards the greed, the hate, and whatnot, then. Yeah, I could just sense that innately without them even being come close to me. Because otherwise, I would not have. I would not have sensed that Trump was so. What the fuck? I'm trying to think of the word here. Arrogant as he was long before even the first presidential can r- r- debate between him and Hillary Clinton. When- <laughs> Sorry. Okay. What I okay. Sorry. Give me a second. What I'm hearing here is Christine's an empath that was able to tell that John- Donald Trump was an arrogant person before. They debated Hillary Clinton. Here's the thing. Even when Donald Trump was getting positive news, uh, you know, mostly tabloids before he was running for president, he was always kind of an arrogant guy. That's what people liked about him. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think they trust people less, but are probably told to trust people. Maybe. Maybe. Way back in uh, 2016. Oh, it's, it's funny. My wife and I were talking about doing something for the Patreon and actual stuff where my wife, after I do a segment, come like we we talk about her feelings on the video we watched. So maybe we'll start doing that. I think that was in October, if I remember correctly, maybe September. But anyway, I would not have said that. I would not have said that long before that. Just that guy was just so arrogant. I mean, you look at his pictures from me before 2016. You would just sense how evil he was beforehand and how evil he was going to be. And I'm what? not gonna say further than that. Okay. And one of the things I th- thank God these transitions are like a literal second was that I wanted to bring up as an example. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong on this. I don't know all of the history of your life. I'm not yeah. like right. some of the more obsessed people on the Internet who pick apart every little thing. But I know mm-hmm. that there was a group of trolls 
who were called the idea guys and oh yeah one of their ideas Just that... what they wanted you to do they were how much cut footage do you think that there is here trying to manipulate you into believing that uh, they obviously have no intuition on who to trust it's the their autism <laughs> maybe <laughs> probably like your cartoon your comics were real and that you had mystical powers and there was a dimensional merge happening where you could go to quickly. yeah christian's got the chalk the chalk the chalk chalk zone okay well for, for, for firstly it's pronounced quick though you just say cwc like it's spelled like the word quick uh but secondly um, <laughs> okay um no they were pretty much affirming why hardy knew long before they before they came because you look at the multiverse yeah. anything and everything yeah. is possible in existence wow. and just you know i literally have been to the other half of our of our earth that was divided long ago in 1389 ad what if this is real i i remember i have a graphic novel actually i was looking through my old comic books um i know cringe right where it was about like what if homeless people it was just a world where homeless people were actually the defenders of like our uh i i, I from what i remember i think it's from like our dimension it was so interesting what if this is true bro what if it's true what if homeless people and people <laughs> what if they're defending us and we don't even know it by merlin the magician and two other sorcerers by order of king arthur's and that's why as time has gone on we've seen less like magic in the world because they're defending us from the evil magic people huh there has been an, uh, an increase of autism associated with a decrease of spooky things, if you think about it. So, think about that. So, just defining the just defining the magic. That's and, a future and, plot. Interesting. I know that. Overpowered individuals and creatures. Is it like a newer plot or an older one? Into one hand, into one dimension, and then the Earth that we are on the majority that only has like look, so much magic in it into the other. And the merge is happening where the two Earth halves are coming back together. We're all going to be fully, we're all going to be fully tangible coexistence, uh, which we have been for a long time. But there's been that tangibility fail in between us, but it's thinning even more so. We're able to see everything and everything. I don't remember the name of the graphic novel. One more clearly, but that, but, but going back to the question ahead, idea guy Stephen Boy, the people and the individuals behind it. Of course, I got mentioned Johnson Wiles and that just that guy did a really massive tear and wear on the C one nine seven half of our Earth. But fortunately, just because they deviate into multiple differing timelines between when they started in about October 2017 up to about uh, mid-April 2018, just that was a whole bunch of mess and details where I mean, I feel like I'm in a, I'm, I feel like I'm in like a science class, and she's just she's yapping. If anybody, if you go to the events between those two dates, uh, late October 2017 to mid-April 2018, you would see like you know just fantastical things that would not happen otherwise. Just like you know, if it ain't continued on as normal, it's just even the most minute of things, you just recognize me. I sense that. But yeah, essentially what they did, they worked through me, and it just kind of like the uh, manifest in many ways for everybody and everything on 12, 18 half. But by the end of it, I was able to undo all that and clear it up. And I get just a better understanding and appreciation of everyone and everything in general, period. Despite got that, got it. Thanks. What they did. Do you ever worry, though, that people are able to convince you that you already had an idea in the first place? That's an, I mean, that's an interesting question. I, I think what she's trying to ask is, was that really your thought? Or did they convince you that you've always had that thought? Uh, it's possible. Yeah. Oh, I don't need convincing because it was an innate thing that I... I mean, even if that's true, she's never going to concede to that because she doesn't even wouldn't even realize it. I was aware of since I was born, but I never realized. It's like, you could say, like, you know, first perspective. Oh, sure. Everybody has that. They just can't see themselves unless they look in the mirror. But no, I mean, what? aside from everybody just being like a typical camera, just being like background individuals, I'm literally the real player one. My perspective is camera zero, 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 zero. Damn, real player one. Jesus. Zero, 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 zero. Or else, you know, if, if it's like, let's it's like camera one, camera two, and so on. Of course, I don't want to attack. Yeah. I don't want to attack your beliefs. Like, in, in it's the not realm just of like the multiverse. It's... Like the chance of it, act, of all of those things actually being real, there is no way you can say for certain it's a zero percent chance. Just like any possible thing could happen in the multiverse. Sure. Anything is possible. So if anything, all they are doing is just affirming and helping me get better understanding from my, myself, which I further realized in my bare meditations after I cleared my head and everything. If I was able to draw something and it became real, I would draw something with big tits. That's it. I want to ask the hard question now. This is the hardest question that I had planned for the I feel like that other question you just asked was going to be, this is going to be the hardest for Christina. And I'm just mm -hmm. saying this ahead of time. But Do you edge max? Or... From what I understand, 
You were an inmate at Central Virginia Regional Jail from August 2nd, 2021 until you released on March 27th, 2023 on charges of incest. Those charges were dropped in August of last year. Now, Mm -hmm. people have seen all of the criticisms made about you. They've gone through the court documents, presented it all over the internet, in the news, etc. But what I've never seen about the side of the story is how this all played out from your own perspective. And I was wondering if you could tell us all how that happened. Uh, Of course. And over heart and hand above. Just going to say that they didn't do it. It's not going to be a very productive conversation. Of truth, <clears throat> only the truth. So anyway, so what essentially happened, just get this out of the way, as I mentioned in the earlier video, just there never was anything like that that happened between Barbara and I, period. Why does he say, or excuse me, <clears throat> why does she say Barbara? It's your mother. Now, between, no, no, between the months in which uh, Barbara and I saw Bonnie, all we did was just talk. And just, I got to know her, know her a little bit better in her past, okay? That's your mom. Wouldn't you already know that? Whatever. Like, it's just like her her father had passed, had died, and fell off this wagon way back in the day. And her brother Stanley was the one that found him and then just essentially told the rest of the family. That was just one story, for example. But it's just helping Barbara feel a little better in her later years and everything. All right? Just talking, you know, helping her to re- go, go back to her history. Revitalizing her brain. Right, she had dementia, so okay. Cells and everything. I'm just trying to interpret, like, what does this mean? Okay, she had dementia, so I guess uh, she was talking to her to stimulate her mind. Okay. Now, aside from that, so Isabella, so she is very sexually perverted and kinky, and she had the idea of just uh, setting me up to have sexual relations with this girl Fiona, who ended up in a mental institution for a week, and recording that on the sounds like your kind of girl assumption that uh, Fiona was underage, which of which at that time she was not. She was literally 19 years old at the time. Ah, but then there was this, but yeah, Fiona, but then Bella, she also tried to get me or rather persuade me into other sexual deviations of which I declined. And she actually got me to go into fit, go into role play and fiction. So which she had, which she presented, uh, like, you know, just various things. And like, some of these were actually written in fanfics by others because like, in this timeline and here, because, you know, she wasn't going to do just, uh. Wait, does that mean the fan fiction is real in a different world too, according to Chris? They have their own crazy wiles and everything, just nuts. But anyway, so she just kept on presenting the ideas, and I went along with her because as a friend. Listen, honestly, I believe half of the story. I believe the part where Isabella was trying to coerce or convince Chris to try to, you know, assault their mother. <clears throat> but I also believe that, uh, and I, I guess I could be wrong, but Chris did. I did it. Did so. I don't think it was just a, oh, I was going along with it kind of a thing at all. But I guess I could be wrong, but I just feel like that's not true. And to test her out, see what she would do in the outcome, because there were the four known outcomes in regards to Ever Free Northwest 2021, the convention. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just checking my notes here really quick. I had this written down before this. I thought I'd meditate on it in recollection. But yeah, she essentially failed the test when uh, she took all that of what other video calls we did. And uh, she spliced them all together, as she had made on a Discord server, and uploaded that video. So had her up, had her comrade just uh, call the police on me, reveal my location. They came to force me out of the house, and then they and then came to get me, and all that. And which uh, obviously her intentions on that were uh, were essentially uh, making myself go into being unalive. You know, just uh, maybe I could believe that. I guess that's not good. Or just uh, get institutionalized or end up in jail. But since I had to. Choice. I let myself be. In, I let myself be in jail, and of course, I used that time to meditate, clear my head, and really understand and further understand, and really realize myself, my role, and everything that is going on has been going on is was going on at the time during the jail and future tense and even present tense this day, this time, this moment. Okay. <sighs> but anyway, just checking my notes here. Oh, right. But yeah, essentially that was it. Uh, essentially, she wanted me to fabricate all that, which uh, you know, was just in a distant alternate timeline, very distant. Not defending Chris, but there is some weird shit in his childhood about his mother forcing a lot of him to sleep in the same bed. Interesting. Is that true? I am not. I can't confirm that, but that's interesting if it is. But did not happen here. It never happened here in this timeline. <clears throat> and just... So you're saying it happened in a different one? Okay. Uh, what she did, just essentially to try to get me to become unalive and uh, whatever, still backfired on her, but it moreover was a good point to me because I managed to... Yeah, I mean, I think that Isabella needs to be arrested too and go to jail. I got to clear my head. And stayed alive. So- I think a lot of these relentless trolls, I think it should be an arrestable offense, honestly. Oh, that's a testament. So it's like, you know, no demonic or devil persuasion is ever going to make me for- or force myself to become unalive in general. And just 
And that is just a further testament where I can count my blessings along even the uh, darkest of situations. And by the way, I really have no idea where they got the idea of where I ended up in prison because there's a massive difference between just a community jail and a prison. It's just, oy, it's okay. these wings, these taunts against <laughs> Isn't that the Cat Williams defense? <laughs> I was never in prison. I was in jail. I mean, it just can be so really, really stupid sometimes. But anyway, I'm sorry if I said that. Um, I'm not an American. I don't know like the distinctions very well. I guess uh, jail is regional, like a state, and like prison is a federal institution. No, jail is I, jail is like a holding facility. That's where you go when you're drunk. Prison is when you get sentenced. Yeah, definitely. Definitely not. But okay. Hmm. But anyway, so I did. So in a way, I did end up in an institution by kept myself grounded and all that along the way during those couple of months. Okay. You probably and belong just, uh, in And just let everything go along and play out. That's not an insult. That's like a real thing. But as they were, I confirmed the details along the way through the newspaper. I'm so glad we got Brittany Griner back. And just unfortunately, we have to lose. We have to. <laughs> Brittany Griner? Like the basketball player? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, yeah, the black merchant of death ended up back in Russia. But fortunately, okay. since Russia is the modern day Babylon, going down. And so is Vladimir Putin by his own sword. Feel free to mark my words on that. What the fuck are you talking? <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna mark those words. It's interesting because <clears throat> this time period is actually where um, I get involved in this entire story somehow with Kiwi Farms hmm. because once you were, okay. while you were in jail, they didn't have you to talk about, and they were looking for new people to talk about, and that's when they found me. Okay. Yeah. And not only you, but just everybody else in general, period. I mean, shoot. Hey, who wants a low cow of the year award? Nope. Nobody. <laughs> no one wants this. Okay. And yeah, I ended up with a 3D printed cow in the mail one year, many years ago, just painted gold. And it was like, okay, here's your low, here, you've been elected low cow of the year. I think this is back in 2014 or so, give or take. I forget when exactly. But still, Me just... too. The thing that you're saying with Isabel Janke, I think, really goes back to what I was saying before, where... People what? try to manipulate you into doing bad things. Yeah, I mean, that's with how a lot of these low-cow network kind of things work out. They try to manipulate somebody into doing a bad thing so they can go, hey, look, they're a bad person. It's like a whole virtue play thing. Into hurting you and trying <clears> to convince <throat> yeah. you and plant the idea in your head that going forward with it is a good idea. And I, I you have a lot more life experience than me. I don't want to be in the uh, I guess. position of trying to say what you should and shouldn't do. Are these two going to start dating, you think? I don't know. We'll see. But I just like right. that. What's not funny? What are you talking about? You take care of yourself. Yeah, I do take care of myself. And I'm, better, I'm just progressing better. I got a lot more good friends available by my side. I'm riding up my posse a little better. Things are shaping up. For me, and not just for me, but for everyone else in general, as we have okay. a lot less and less of the toxic and evil, darkest sinning individuals. Okay. In coexistence with us, that number is decreasing. So, cool. are all of the charges now dropped? That's my understanding. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I knew about the one, but again, I don't look. I'm I'm not one of these obsessed freaks. I mostly wanted <laughs> yeah. to do my due diligence because I know there's going to be a lot of people. Like when I said I wanted to do this interview, um, there were like oh the gold cow. Oh, okay. Dozens and dozens of my fans who said they were they didn't they weren't even aware the charges were dropped as people only follow to okay. hate you they don't care about the good news they don't want to see you do better so the good things that are happening in your life they never get publicized yeah, yeah professional haters yeah it's just there's just, just hey they have all these outdated concepts of me i mean they just want to be like you know, they think i weigh over 250 pounds or so like over since but no last time i checked on the scale i was around 215. The fuck are you talking about? And i uh, and and obviously I do work out. I go out. I exercise a lot. I mean, we got I got poke stops and a few gyms nearby here. <laughs> okay, so <I'm... laughs> okay. Uh, po well, I think that she's referring to Pokemon Go to the polls. I so I can optionally go out and play Pokemon Go if I, just yeah, okay. every day. If I'm For watching. a second, I'm like, oh, are you doing this weird dimensional merge bullshit again? But then I remember so... two or just whatever. And <laughs> but yeah, I, I do my own thing. Uh, though my habits are rather kind of inconsistent, there's still some inconsistency. I mean, there's there's still some consistency uh, in my habits. Like you know, obviously I do shower daily. I do not steak. Wherever you got that idea from, just yeah, if you ever met me in person, <laughs> I, 
Uh, no, I would rather not. I take my showers. I wash myself with soap and water. I do not just use the at spy spray, as y'all have misconceived of that. I okay. mean, yeah, it's a good body spray. It makes you smell better in the armpits, at least, but it's no substitute for good old-fashioned soap, water, shampoo. <sighs> what the fuck are you talking about? Conditioner. I have an interesting question, because you... No, without it. You've been harassed and stopped <laughs> far longer than you've been out as trans. Like, this happened years before you came out. What's oh, yeah. the difference been? How has it changed since you came out as trans? I'd say uh, kind of more or less the same. Okay. So obviously, uh, they were aware of me the, being not on the normal... Uh, Mage in Super Shatty $2.51. Wise Keffel's looking kinder, smirking face. It's not appropriate, brother. Word right there. Uh, well... That's true. I Bathing is a social construct, guys. Our ancestors used to only bathe during the summertime. So. Well, they just pretty much uh, were on a idea that I wasn't straight in a way, you know, sexually. I mean, obviously, it's like came out from my, vo my voice tones or from something I've written or drawn in my books in the past, okay. uh, whatever, that they just pieced together, which ultimately they ended up being true. More like poos together. <laughs> and I figured I just figured out for myself. And just it, and just now that that's out of the way, it's been confirmed on bisexually trans woman. Okay. It's just I kind of feel like there's a slight decrease because they realize because they know that I mean it's kind of confirms so that's one less thing of them for the to pick on me about especially. <laughs> I think it's one more thing for them to pick on you about, but okay. I think more than anything else, it's just they're getting people are getting to a point where they're not really interacting with uh, Christian anymore. It's not as um, big. I mean, for a whole year they disappeared. I feel like they just kind of fell out of the limelight for the most for the most part. Since uh, that's more or less becoming acceptable, though obviously it could become more acceptable in the longer run in certain countries, which that is going I, to be fact and I, true. I am always in, I am always appropriate. Eventually, but it shall be good anyway. Anyway, yeah, but then there's like a slight increase on the other aspects as well, and just whatever things they're just going to pick on that's they find from within, from within themselves, respectively, that they just thrust Onto me wow. in a similar way so poetic. or another that they just think it's just totally cringe. Just they're gonna tap me for that. But the in reality, it's like they're attacking themselves for what Beautiful. they were. Like obviously, like some of them, they could be gay, and they're just attacking me because yeah. Kind of true. Kind of true. Kind of base, I guess. So. They get bisexual. You like dicks as well. But hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Those individuals, they like dicks as well, and they should not be criticizing or judging others based on what. They Why is Kevin's always so low? Uh, she does this for a living. Why can't I? I don't know. That's a good question, frankly. But... They are themselves, regardless of their their background, upbringing. Favorite pizza topping? Ah, uh, I don't know, bacon and chicken, I guess. And those Sorry, that have, sorry sleepy. They not have they fond of the just LGBTQIA and everything. Okay. But yeah. There's a lot of things that could reflect from all that in changing for themselves. But also in another way, as they uh, talk it out, they're also just getting a further processing and understanding for themselves. They're innately... <laughs> yeah, you heard it. The haters are gay. ...meditating and connecting without totally realizing it. They'll so they just want to remain like closed off and want to stick to the old iterations. So outdated. So last century. Hey, 2006 call. They want their kick the autistic gay back. They want their... <laughs> what? Kick the LGBTQIA individual back. And so forth. No. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, being transphobic and ableist is so 2000 and whatever they said. Now that you're out of jail and all of this stuff is behind you, how are you planning on moving forward with your life? <sighs> well, present tense, I'm moving forward with uh, living life. Like I said, going back to writing and drawing. Don't they have a like a fucking channel? Like the science sheet books. There's a lot more details and everything, which I was actually able to get in one in one or two of my recent live streams, including reading Act Four of Chaos Crystal Control, which took place back in late February 2006, but really brought in individuals from present tense, you know, between late 2022 to early to present day right here. They just literally went back in time to that day, including, including of course, individuals like uh, Project SMT and Courtney along with her. What the fuck are you talking about? Her, and even like, you know, just like, uh, you know, I'm going to name drop a few. So Dr. Wolf, Mighty Bliss, uh, and yeah, and Mad Munchkin, just to name a few. How come the medallion is so dirty? Oh, the El Basque River. I really love her, by the way. She just does she just does great, okay. great, excellent voice dubbing and comic dub reading. Anyway, it's just a very kind individual in general. But anyway, just more than them, and there are a whole lot of others as well. They just literally end up going back to 2006 and then helping and manifesting. One <laughs> yeah, Christine's still trying to find a boyfriend free girl. Incredible. Part of the ultimate miracle at the Dimension Merge, still in progress and soon to be wrapping up within the next year or two. I don't have the exact date in my mind because nobody, not even me, can know that. Not even just unconsciously, because that is in the divine plan as 
from within the light sources and the heaven realm and among the gods and goddesses and everything in this in this universe and, the, and in this timeline set of universes, but moreover in this universe, but then also beyond that to literally the alpha omega point of all existence, the beginning and end of all timelines. Why didn't the clap get picked up by the audio? Thank you so much for coming on the show, Christian. That was a fucking night. What the fuck was this? What what is this? It was a real pleasure. Yeah. I can't imagine. I can't imagine that's true. But okay. Yes, and thank you for having me, Kev. And thank you again for just taking down Kiwi Farms, that massive peg. Well, that was a lot more. That was a lot more than I was able to do on the Encyclopedia Dramatica page for sure. Sure. Here's okay. what I learned. Um, I don't care. <laughs> after going through all of that, I came to this realization. Okay. You can take down a website, but the trolls never go away. Wow. They'll get a new website. That's wow, beautiful. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's something that you either got to realize that the kitchen is hot and deal with the heat or you got to get out of it. Yeah, get in the hot kitchen. I agree. Yeah. I got flames around me. I'll just Incredible. pretend I'm in that kitchen like that dog is. How is like, it still going? Oh, sure, I'm so it's sorry. all fine. I could just tolerate it or I could just wish it away and let the flames be gone with holy light power and cleansing goodness. Okay, cool. Um... That happened.